This is a pair of the Adco series moving heads valued at $1,100. Make sure you enter your information to win. See you today, an hour before the end of the show for the drawing. Have an amazing day. What's up, guys? Good afternoon once again here, Victor with JMAS Lighting and our very own DJ Mike from DJ Mike Eventos. DJ Mike, good afternoon, sir. How are you? Welcome okay, once again. Doing? doing great. Welcome once again. Today is Friday, June 5th, 2020. Guys, the market is slowly but surely starting to open up. Uh, I know a lot of you guys are starting to get some gigs. 
So, you know, we're excited. We're happy for that. Uh, we can't wait for this thing to just be over. Uh, I know we got to keep our distance. I know we got to keep it safe. I know that if, you know, if we have to, we should stay home and that's all good. But man, let's get out there. Let's try and make things happen. Uh, today is going to be a very uh, generic, very open space type live stream. Uh, we're going to have a recap of all the different lights that we've shared with you. I got a few of them with me here. DJ Mike has got a few of them with him there. So what we're going to do is we also want to remind you guys to go ahead and post your comments, whether it's now or later after the live stream, because eventually what we're going to do is we're going to be getting somebody from the comments section. We're going to be giving away a swag bag. We're going to be giving you some, uh, some freebies, some swag. So go ahead and post your comments, your questions. Uh, we're going to take the time to address them as we go along. Um, like I said, today, we're just going to be going over a 10 week or nine week. Today's the 10th week. We're going to be going over a nine week live stream uh, streak here, guys. Uh, once again, we want to thank all the viewers. And again, if you're watching this now or later, post your comments, post your questions. We will take the time to answer them. Uh, DJ Mike, what you got for us today? What did we start with about 10 weeks ago? Well, we started with, uh, I don't know if it was the first week, I don't have the list in front of me, but one of the things that uh, that we showcased is the ATCO, the ATCO series. We started with the beams, then we did the wash, then we did the spots. Uh, right now, I got in the back of me a, a, an ATCO beam 100. They, they are so good that I implemented those on my show, on my personal show, uh, ATCO Beam 100, they're very, very low consumption. Uh, they're running about 1.4 amps. So basically you can have 10 of those in a one circuit. Absolutely. You mentioned the, uh, you mentioned the uh, Crazy Beam 40 Fusion as well. I mean, you know, those things retail at about 199. So it's kind of crazy that for 200 bucks, I mean, a 60 watt, right? I mean, you know, an LED, it's pretty phenomenal. RGBW. I mean, guys, the days of 10 watt, 12 watt LEDs on a mover, at least from JMS lighting, those days are over. They've never existed. Uh, I know that, you know, JMS lighting has always been about brighter right um stronger and at an affordable price and so you know with the with the uh with the crazy beam 40 fusions you know six of those man you can put a phenomenal light show uh full dmx capable built-in uh programs built-in shows and it comes with an rf remote control that you can use i really enjoy those lights um i know dj mike you mentioned the adco 100 series you have a beam in the background are you running that off of dmx or is that a, like a built-in show DMX, DMX. Got it. So it's fully DMX in the back, right? He's got like this uh, boathouse light type of thing. And uh, I got a pair of them in the background here. And what I'm using with the ADCO 100 is the included RF remote control. <coughs> uh, what I've been able to do with this is I've been able to kind of position them in the position that you're looking at them right now. Um, if you guys don't remember, these things come... Again, with an RF remote control, you get 30 feet range. So if you have one on the left 30 feet away, one on the right 30 feet away, or a pair on the left, a pair on the right 30 feet away, you don't even need a DMX cable between these lights. All you really need is a power cable. And the beauty about the RF remote control, it gives you remote access to all nine, all nine of the built-in programs that it has. And guys, these programs are useful. It's not like an auto mode. It's not like a show mode. Guys, it's a totem mode. And it's and like I said, it's fully functional. Right now, what I did was I, I, I'm going to press the auto button on the remote control. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to press the dimmer button. And the dimmer button allows the light to freeze at a certain position. So when I press auto, and again, I have them here. I have the remote here in front of me. I didn't even have to point at it. The lights are behind me, as you can see. And... Uh, the, you know, the remote's right here. So right now, they're running in auto mode. This is show number one. I mean, look, guys, I can't stress enough these lights. They're lightweight. 
The footprint is very small. They're no more than 11 and a half inches tall. And the crazy thing is, is how bright they are, right? You get a gobo wheel, you get a color wheel, you get the Omega type mounting brackets on them. I mean, seriously, for, for $4.99, I mean, I, I don't know what to tell you. This is a 75 watt LED. Look at this thing. And the cool thing about this too is with the remote control, DJ Mike, check this out. You ready? The left and right arrow buttons allow you to slow down or speed up the movement on these lights. Watch, I'm going to press the arrow right, and you'll see how these things begin to move a little faster. Right? I hope we got the grid view here. And so at this point, the lights are moving a little faster than they normally would be. Uh, let me go back to preset number one so you can see the beginning. Okay. There we go. And again, the cool thing about these things is, like I said, it's just remote control. Check this out. Watch this process speed up here. They're moving faster. And if I go to back to the left, ch check it out. They will slow down. So now they're a little slower. And again, this is preset one on the RF remote control. If you want them to do a 360, check this out. Preset number nine. Bam, here they go. 360. All the way around. 360 to the top, 360 to the front, to the left, to the back. Right? If I want to bring them back to the front, preset number one. Bam! Just like that. Guys, I'm telling you, the built-in functions on these lights are so useful. That's what I love about them. I'm all about like... I don't have time to be creating scenes. I don't have time to be connecting my DMX controller. Guys, I don't have, I just want to go put them up. I want to have this remote next to my turntables and I want to like forget about them. If I want them off, check this out. The stop button right here on the red, the stop button, bam, turns them off just like that. And if I want them back on, the auto button, boom, just like that. I want to freeze them. I press the dimmer button. Bam. Just like that, you guys. That's how useful this thing is, right? So um, another one of the things that we talked about here was um, we talked about the, the – also we talked about the Pixel FX bar 50-50, you guys. I mean, you guys have all seen the promotional videos on those, on those lights. You guys have all seen uh, all the live streams we've done. You know, Brandon have really he's, – he's created – a really cool, um, you know, product review on his page. Make sure you check it out. And so on his YouTube channel, Brandon Havrilla, he's done a really good job at, our, at, our, at you know, creating a product review video. Phenomenal job, Brandon. Thank you. And uh, again, guys, the FX bar 5050s, those things are like hot cakes. In, 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 in Spanish, they sell like tamales, you know, tamales. When you got, when somebody goes, hey, so-and-so's making tamales, guys, those tamales sell like this, like bam, gone. That's how the FX bar 5050s have been selling, you guys. So I'm telling you, uh, you want to get your hands on a pair of those at 249 you know, a pair for 500 bucks, you know, with the warm white LEDs in them, with the, uh, with the uh, 291 SMD chips around the outer perimeter of that thing i mean you can't go wrong with it you guys and then it's got 96 of the cool white sorry 96 lights 96 96 around the outer perimeter it's got 144 cool white in the middle and again fully programmable 10 18 23 28 33 and 61 channels for it for a bar to have that much access i mean it's ridiculous i don't know what to tell you and uh you know the warm white the warm white the 12 warm white beams in the center those things are crazy because they can be used as blinders they can be used as beams i mean there's just so many use for an fx bar you know i did a uh, i did a corporate event not so long ago right before the quarantine came up um, I put one on the right and one on the left side of the podium. And, you know, when people are up there speaking on this podium, 
the guest are not just being entertained by the information that the speaker is giving, but their eyes, their eyes are also being entertained by this beautiful FX bar 50-50 LEDs in there. Um, so all I'm telling you guys is, is, you know, what can I say? So we got Fernando Ramirez here. He posted a comment. Uh, manejan crédito. Fernando, yes, we do. Manejamos crédito. Si nos gustas hablar uh, de esta manera también uh, manejamos crédito. George Astorian says, hi, guys. Uh, George Astorian says, can we have a close-up of the light? Absolutely. Uh, George, just for you, I'm going to pick up the, uh, the camera that I have on this tripod over here, and I will put them up closer to you. Give me just one sec so that I can do that for you. I'm going to get off the mic here just so that, you know, I don't sound at a distance, but check this out. George, that was just for you, buddy. I appreciate the comment. And so um, hopefully you got a chance to see it. Um, but again, guys, you know, talking about the FX bar 5050, the ones in the background are the Adco Spot 100s, 75 watt LED color wheel, gobo wheel. I mean, what can I say, you guys? Built in shows fully, they're very useful. So that's one thing I really love about this particular light. And, um, you know, one of the other one of the other lights that we uh, went over with you guys here as well uh, was the um, Madpar Hex 4S and the 6XS. Check this out. Um, this particular light, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the Adco 100s in the background. Press the stop button just like that. Oh, sorry, wrong remote. It's this one right here. Press the stop button just like that. That where's the remote I was using with these? There you go. Okay, so Madpar Hex 6XS and 4S. You guys, the main difference between these two lights here, uh, this is the 6XS in a chrome. Check out how bright that thing is, it's like a mirror finish. And this right here is the 4S. Okay, 48 watts of brightness on the 4S. 72 watts of brightness on the 6XS. Um, Diego Ruiz, yes, George, they are very compact. They're only 11 and a half inches tall. Um, and they're only, I think, about eight inches wide, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I'll get you that information. Yes, they're about eight inches, uh, sorry, about five inches wide. So five inches, uh, sorry, look, let me see here. Uh, so yeah, eight inches wide, about 11 and a half inches tall. Back to the 6XS and the 4S, right? 48 watts, 72 watts. Diego Ruiz says, compré unas uplights hace un año y solo las usé una vez. Dos de las luces ya no sirven. Pagó 1,600. Diego, asegúrate de contactarnos. No sé si ya lo has hecho, pero con, con comentarnos que, que ya no funcionaron. Eh, no, se, no, no van a funcionar las luces, o sea, coméntanos, también contáctanos para poder asegurarnos que, que las luces estén funcionando sin ningún problema. Esa es una de las cosas que tenemos. So Diego is saying that he bought, uh, he bought some, up, some up lights, um, he says, about a year ago. He used them once or twice. He says, some of them don't work anymore. And I'm telling him, you know what? Contact us. Make sure that you let us know because by commenting and letting us know that they don't work, they're not going to start working. But if you comment and you contact us, then we'll make sure that they do get back up and running. Um, I've had a pair of these at home for, I want to say, two years now. And I use them around the house, like in the hallways, just to keep the uh, 
to keep the hallways lit for the kids when they get up at night to go to the bathroom. So I, I've been using them for, I mean, every day, unless on the weekends and we're not here, but I use them every night, every night. I mean, I charge them maybe once a week and they run for approximately eight hours on a single color, a little dim, obviously, so they don't consume a lot of power. They don't, you know, they're not on full brightness. But again, guys, the cool thing about these lights is, look, I have the, you can see it in the background, okay? Towards the window, I have the 4S, and in the corner, I have the 6XS. Take a look at the difference in the beam angles, if you guys would. The 6XS is going to be going up at about a 25-degree angle, and the 4S is going to be going up at about a it's going to be going up also at about let's just say that one goes up at about a 40 degree angle so the 72 watt goes up at a 25 degree angle i don't know if you can see that in the background but check this out i have all four of them paired to this chrome 6 xs the master one blinks red all the slaves are gonna green are gonna blink green so let me go through some of the colors on on here and guys RGBW as well as a true uh, ultraviolet and amber. So I'm just going to go through the static colors here and we're going to go with, for example, this would be a red. Okay, let me put this one here so you can see it in the front too. Oh, man, my wife's going to kick my butt here. Okay, so this is a red and then obviously green. You have blue. Right, RGB, a true white, and then we have amber. Guys, for you to get amber and ultraviolet in one light, I mean, let me tell you, right? And so here we got Diego says, yeah, todas mis luces las he comprado con ustedes y solo esas me salieron mal. Diego, asegúrate de contactarnos. We'll make sure to take care of it for you, brother. No problem. And so again, you guys. Uh, you're going to have approximately all these different static colors built into the 15 static colors built into the 4S and the 6XS. I'm telling you, I don't know what other light in the market can take these lights out. Matter of fact, there's companies out there copying the 4S. That's a thing of the past, although they're still phenomenal, but right, we've been innovating and coming up with newer lights. So 48 watts, this light alone will take out any other light in the market right now. Why and how? Listen, brightness, 48 watts. Battery powered, runtime, 15 hours. Okay. Colors, six in one. All four LEDs have six colors. So those features and functions alone, the 48 watts, the six in one, the 15 hours of runtime, the built-in WiMAS, a wireless DMX. Guys, I mean, for 249 a light, it's ridiculous. I'm telling you, value, value, more for your money, or at least your money's worth, right? Don't settle for a name brand who's going to give you less and charge you more. Half of the cost is the name that's stamped on that light. That's a thing of the past. It's 2020. Going on 2021, let's start being a little smart about what we buy, you guys. I'm telling you. So, again, that's that's the original. This is a hot seller. This is another one that sells like tamales, the 4S. This thing, like I said, 6-in-1, 48 watts, built-in, wireless, YMAS DMX, 15 hours of runtime. And when you pair it with the D24 wireless controller, off it's game over it's game over i'm telling you guys right so now we go and we say bam just when you thought you copied our light check this out six excess right 72 watts of brightness each led is 12 watts and each led has a six in one let me show you that again red green blue white this is a true white you guys okay amber and ultraviolet i mean i don't know what to tell you what's up arthur i appreciate you getting in contact with us again brother um 
I know that Arthur came to our booth uh, at DJ, DJ Expo in Atlantic City. He was the lucky winner of a pair of the Adco 100 uh, moving heads, like the ones I was showing you earlier. He loved them so much. On the spot, he bought another pair. And later on, literally within a week after the show, he contacted us and says, I also want your Firestorm. Loves them, has nothing but great things to say. George, you're asking about a price for the uh, uplights, I'm assuming, for the 4S and the 6XS, right? So the 4S retails for $249, you guys. This is a $249 light. When you buy 10, that's $2,500 for 10 of them. Usually, the case is sold separately, a charging case is sold separately. It's about a $350 value. But when you buy 10 of these lights for $2,500, we throw in the charging case. And let me tell you, just because we throw in the case, it doesn't necessarily mean it's a cheap case. Guys, if you look at that case, for those of you who have these lights and have bought these lights, if you look at the case for these particular lights, it's padded on the inside. It's got the charging strip down the middle. It has space for you to save all of your chargers in there, as well as the PowerCon cable that goes from the case to your wall. And it also has a space for you to store the D24 in there as well. And the wheels on that thing are the soft rubber wheels. You're not going to scrape or leave any marks in any banquet hall, in any hotel, in any of the venues you ever ride this case onto. And you're also going to have the ability to stack them up. The case is stackable. So it's got space for wheels on top of it. So, George, hopefully that answers your question. I know that the uh, the six XS retails for $329, if not $349 right in that range. But the same thing, if you buy 10, we're also going to throw in the charging case for you. They are available in black. All, both of these models are available in black. They're available in white. And they're also available in chrome. So make sure you take a look at it. Look, my hands are all over this thing right here, you guys. You see that? And they're so easy to clean. All you do is get a microfiber and bam, look. One, two, three. It's like rubbing rubbing it like the lamp, right? The genie wanting to come out. Check that out. Look at that finish. Well, you know what? Um, let's let's take a look and see what we got here. Uh, Samuel, you're wondering if I'm using a DMX controller. He says, sorry, you missed some of the show. Samuel, uh, are you wondering if I'm using a DMX controller with the lights or am I using a DMX controller with the lights in the background with the Alco 100? Make sure you clear that up with us. Uh, right now, I'm running wireless DMX from one light to the other three, which is the one here on my left hand and the two in the back. So I'm running wireless DMX uh, between these two. And so Arthur Brannigan says, awesome products. I've been, I've been video DJing and doing lighting for 18 years. So Arthur Brannigan is a, a veteran in the industry. Anything over 10 years, you're considered a veteran, according to, my, according to me. So, you know, besides what I'm showing you guys right now, go ahead and post your questions. I'll be more than happy to come back to them. Um, but for right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these lights right over here. This is the 6 XS, and this right here is the 4 S. And so um, one of the other things we wanted to show you, Samuel says, that's my answer. Awesome. Glad I was able to answer it for you, buddy. But remember, you can also use our D24. This is a wireless DMX controller that you can use. This is a 24-channel analog DMX controller that you can use with these lights. You get access to all six different colors on this particular controller. And again, it's also battery-powered. Uh, you get um, also 12 to 15 hours of runtime built-in wireless DMX. Uh, I don't have a plug. This is just for you to charge it. It's got a battery indicator 
right in the front, as you can see it right over here. So it's got red, yellow, and three greens as a battery indicator. You can use this wireless DMX controller um, with these lights as well. Uh, right now, I don't have it paired with them because I have this controller paired with the ATCO 150s, which I will show you in a second. So again, you can use this particular controller. Uh, we have it available. Uh, you could use it with pretty much anything. You can use it with any wireless DMX fixture. We use this controller because, you know, it's analog. We use it uh, exclusively for the Madpar Hex 4S in the 6 XS. So any questions about this controller, let me know. Uh, we can also do that for you. And inside the lights, I mean, you also get this IR remote control, you know, like the way I use them at home. I use the IR remote control because, you know, I don't use them for shows. I use them just to kind of, you know, light up the hallways, like I said, when the kids are in the restroom. So besides that, um, we would talk over the Pixel Tron 740. Guys, the Pixel Tron 740Z, that's a beast of a light. I don't have one here behind me. But um, I know that you guys are familiar with it because when you see it, you don't forget it. But I'll show you this right off of our catalog. Um, again, I don't have it here behind me. Uh, and if you, Eric, if you want to throw maybe a, a, a video of that light, but let me show them off the catalog first. And then if you want to throw a video of that light, guys, this is the Pixel Tron 740 uh, Z. And uh, this thing is phenomenal. I mean, it's got this really cool uh, Tron-like effect on the face. And I'm telling you, there is no other light like this one in the market. Totally eye candy. Eric, go ahead and throw a video of these um, on our live stream just so people can, can take a look at it at some of our shows that we have. And uh, I'll go through some of the functions of this light with you guys here. Uh, it's got 740-watt LEDs. I mean, guys, 740-watt LEDs. And the honeycomb fascia is basically composed of 90, 90 RGB LEDs. And it's got a motorized zoom from 6 to 60 degrees. So you could use it as a really powerful beam light. I mean, think of, think of a 40-watt beam light. Well, now think of putting together seven of those 40-watt beam lights and picture how strong this thing would be. And so let's put a video, guys, of these, uh, of the 740 Pixeltrons up. And uh, the seven LEDs on the inside of the face, they've got independent pixel control. So all seven LEDs don't have to be white. All seven LEDs don't have to be blue, right? Independent pixel control on these lights. And uh, another one of the cool things is it's got that neon like effect with the built-in macros for you to choose from. Built-in YMAS wireless DMX. I mean, guys, every light in the market today should be wireless DMX capable. If, if they're not doing that, then what are they doing? You know, just another beam light, just another spotlight, just another wash light. No, come on, let's start throwing in some features and functions in here. And so this is kind of why we're throwing YMAS, wireless DMX. Get this, for, for a lot of you that are into production, for a lot of you light designers out there, it has the ability to, to remote address, RDM. RDM means you can remotely address these lights so that once they're up in your structure, once they're up in your rig, and you forgot to set the address on this light, you can use your console, your program to set the address on these lights. I really like that function, right? And so it also has the Omega type mounting brackets, um, you know, electronic dimming from zero to 100%. Um, Eric, were we able to get that, that video of the Pixeltrons up there on any one of the shows? I don't see it. Nice. So Arthur Brannigan says, I just put in for my tickets for DJ Expo this year. Can't wait to see you guys out there. Absolutely, Arthur. We're doing our best to make sure we're there. And uh, I mean, we're going to put together a phenomenal show. We made a statement. We made a lot of noise last year. 
this year we're going to make 10 times the amount of noise. And I'm not saying noise like that you can hear with your ears. Arthur, you were there. You knew, you know, we made a lot of noise. And what I'm saying is, is the most powerful light, light show on that floor was the JMAS lighting booth. I mean, you can see that thing from anywhere in that show floor. That's what's up. That's how we do it here at JMAS, you guys. So again, another one of the lights. And let me give you some dimensions on the Pixeltron 740, just so you guys get an idea, right? Let me give you guys. Okay, so let me give you, um, let me give you some, uh, some dimensions here. They're about 12 inches tall by by sorry 15 inches tall uh by 12 inches wide and about eight almost nine inches deep you could see them here on the live stream right now if you have any questions about them let us know i mean this thing could be eye candy for any stage for any church you can have just like a standard static color these are some of the macros that are built into the Tron like effect. Uh, so you can see what we're talking about here. Uh, these are some of the built in macros that you can choose from. And I'm telling you, I mean, these lights right here are revolutionary. I know that when we debuted these lights at LDI last year, man, people were walking in and going, What the heck is that? I mean, I I'm telling you, so many people came by and they said, I know when I see a light that I want. And that I need to have in that right there. And they kept pointing at the Pixeltrons. I mean, they were like, I got to have these. And again, these are the RGB, the built-in static colors that are on the 740-watt LEDs. And that's why it's called Pixeltron 740 because it's 7 LEDs, 40 watts. And these only weigh about 20, 21 pounds, 9.5 kilograms. So they only weigh about 21 pounds. So again, guys, this is the Pixeltron 740. And then, uh, and then Samuel Martinez says, that's a monster. Yes, it is. Absolutely, Arthur. Um, let's see here. Uh, oh, George, hey, uh, Arthur, George Asdurian says, is it canceled or is it still going on? He's wondering if DJ Expo is canceled or if it's still going on. Arthur says, if I can plug into your LED panels with my laptop, Maybe I will put on a video DJ set for you guys. That'd be awesome. That'd be awesome. Samuel Martinez, that's a monster. Yes, Samuel, this light is definitely a monster. Um, and says uh, Samuel says, are they moving heads? Samuel, yes, they are. This is a full moving head. Um, it's got, obviously, 8 and 16-bit smooth for precise resolution for pan and tilt movement. It's got 360 pan, it's got 540 degree pan, and a 630 degree pan, and then the tilt has got 9180 or 270. That's how crazy these things are. So Arthur says he hasn't heard of it being canceled, and we're talking about DJ Expo, guys. Arthur is uh, answering George's question. Uh, George, Arthur is saying that uh, he hasn't heard of it being canceled. Uh, again, you guys, I'm telling you, um, we want to make sure that you know we plug in uh, post your comments. Remember, we're going to be selecting a lucky winner uh, from the comments section to send out a free swag bag. You know, just a, a token of appreciation for plugging in and staying tuned with us. Uh, again, so we're going to move right along here. Uh, we also talked about the Arrow Series moving heads. Let me turn off. I'm going to turn off the the um, the mad part hexes here. Okay, and what I'm going to do is i'm going to be turning on the arrows right so let's just say you got you just got to your to your rig you got to your your where you're gonna be performing and you know you show up with the arrow series you guys if you don't know about the arrow series man be glad you're here battery powered moving heads yes battery powered moving heads 60 watt led a 60 watt led I have here the Aero Spot 60, you guys. What I'm about to show you is, is I'm going to lift one up, and you'll see that it doesn't have no power, no DMX. I'm just going to lift one up, and I'm going to turn two of them on. Remember, these right here, these are the ADCO 100s. 
these are the ad call series 100. What I'm going to do is, is right in the middle between those two, I have the arrow 60s. I want you to take a look at them. So let me turn these off. Remember, these are a 75 watt LED. The arrow 60s, fully battery powered, right? 12 to 15 hours of runtime, okay, on a single charge. So I'm going to turn these off and I'm going to turn those other ones on for you. Just give me a few seconds. Hey, somebody's saying, why don't we do one of these in Spanish? We we were we we were gonna do one right after this. So if you want to stay tuned, we'll be more than happy to do it. But check this out. This is the arrow spot 60. I hope you can see that right there. Arrow spot 60. Okay, check this out. Fully wireless, battery powered. I'm gonna turn it on right over here. Bam, I'm gonna go turn the other one on. Give me a sec. So you just got to your venue, you put your lights on a totem, and remember, battery powered, no wires, no, no, no power cables, no DMX cables. All I did right now is I set them up and I turned them on. Watch what I'm about to do with the included wireless remote control. Give me a sec. Sorry, guys. My phone rang on the other end, so the camera got a little messed up. Remember, we're live here, so we're unedited, uncut, the real deal, right? So these are the Arrow 60s, okay? Remember, I got to my venue, and I put them on my totem. No power, no DMX. The included RF remote control, the same remote that does my spots. Check this out. Spot beam and wash so all i'm gonna do is i'm gonna press the spot three times and this remote control is gonna pair itself to these lights check this out one two three the minute the remote control paired to these lights they stopped they were in auto mode when they turned on the minute i paired the remote to these lights they stopped and all i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna press the auto function and watch them go i'm not even gonna aim at them i'm having it here in front of my face i just press the auto button on them check this out okay right in the middle is the arrow spot 60 and on the outside is the adco 100. i want you guys to take a look at them because I want you to compare, right? That the arrow, even though it's battery powered, it's no less or no more than a powered 75 watt ADCO. Guys, I want you to take a look at these four lights. The ADCO 100s are on the outside and the arrow spot 60s are on the inside. The arrow spot 60s are battery powered, fully built in wireless DMX, 12 to 15 hours of runtime in the 75 watt. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get the camera angle here, and I want you guys to look at them up close, just so you guys can get an idea of what I'm showing you here. Yep, the arrow is 60 watts and the ADCO 100 or 75 watts. Take a look at it, guys.
Exactly. Guys, I'm not I'm not in a nightclub. I mean, look, my window's open. It's as bright as it can get out here. I'm not, you know, in a super dark room. The window in the back, right? I just have the blinds closed. And again, the Arrow 60s are in the middle and the Atco 100s are on the outside. Look at that, man. I'm gonna give you guys some time. I'm gonna give you guys some time to take a look at this. And I want you guys to post your questions. Let me see here if we got any questions about these lights. Um, the price of the battery pack moving head. Retail on those is in the $1,100 range. But I know that we've got some special promos going on. Definitely take a look uh, at our contact information. You can reach out directly to me. I can share my phone number if you guys want to. I know that I've done that in the past. And uh, Arthur says those are bright. Yes, Arthur, they are. You know, three facet prism. Uh, the arrows uh, are again, um, again, eight to twelve hours of runtime. Uh, DM fully DMX master slave sound. Um, again, they're they're you know low noise, two point four inch LCD display. So it's a color LCD. Very nice, man. Very professional light. It doesn't lack anything. Just because it's battery powered, again, it doesn't mean it's not bright. Just because it's battery powered doesn't mean it's missing anything. The only thing that the arrow is going to do for you is going to make your life a lot easier because you don't have to worry about a power source. You don't have to worry about a wireless DMX signal. None of that stuff. Hey, uh, Gia Como Lipolis. I hope I said your name correctly. He wants to know if JMS products are available in Italy. I don't know that they are right now, but we could definitely make them reach Italy. That's no problem. Make sure you guys send me an email directly. My email address, it's my name, Victor, at JMAS Lighting, all one word, jmaslighting.com. Once again, my email address, Victor, my first name, at the company name, all one word, jmaslighting.com. If you guys want to shoot me a text message, the phone number, ready for the phone number, guys. Arthur, I know you got it, buddy. You and I text back and forth every so often. Uh, my phone number is 818-415-1265. Again, if you guys want the phone number, let me go ahead and give it to you. It is 818-415-1265. Uh, let me find something to write it on here with. Uh, eight, one, eight, one, five. Okay. So if you guys want to send me a text message, you guys get any additional questions, uh, special pricing, uh, package 818-415-1265. And so, guys, I'm telling you, the Arrow series, Mike says, hey, dude. South Africa here, wishing you all love and happiness. Thank you, Mike. We appreciate you plugging in, buddy. Hey, man, thanks for your comment. And so I know that Africa is dying for a real, real, real light solution out there. Let me tell you, we've had a few people from Africa during our trade shows come over to see us. And I'm telling you guys, um, people really want these lights out there. I know that Africa is a multi-million dollar industry when it comes to the lighting industry. So just a little bit of uh, uh, information out there for you guys. Um, so George Astorian, I hope I got the, yes, the answer for you. Price on the battery pack moving. Uh, let's see here. So Arthur says, if you have friends in bands, these lights are awesome for bands and bars. Also, not just DJing. Absolutely. Any band out there. I mean, I know that a lot of bands don't want to have to deal with the whole lighting and all this stuff, right? So I think, you know, you put them up, you turn them on, you pair the remote, and off you go. Look, I'm going to press preset number nine just so you could see a 360 show here. Bam! Look at that. 360, guys. The Arrow 60s in the middle, the Adco 100s to the outside. 
And this is a 360 totem mode preset number nine on the RF remote control. I mean, man, guys, look, I've slowed them down for you. But if I press the right arrow, I can speed them up for you too. Check this out. I'm just going to push. I'm just going to push them. Right. I'm just going to keep pushing it, pushing it, pushing it. And you'll see that the lights begin to move a little faster. Now I'm going to press the left arrow and you'll see how they start to slow down again. Okay. Guys, those are the arrows 60 in the middle. They come in a beam. They come in a wash and they come in a spot solution. I'm going to go back to preset number one so you guys get an idea of what I'm talking about here. And again, I don't even have to aim at these lights. I could be in a separate room and press preset one. Check this out. Bam. There you go. Just like that. Right. That's preset one. Preset two is also uh, um, kind of like a front facing light show, but it's got a little bit of a strobe effect. It focuses on a different area in the front. Preset three also does the same thing, right? Different gobos, different colors. And that's what preset three does. Preset four is going to focus more off to one of the sides. As you can see here, right? It's focusing more off to one of the sides. Preset five is going to focus to the opposite side of the light. As you can see, this is what they're doing right now. And then we'll go back to preset one straight to the front. And here you have them, guys. I mean, this is so you can compare. Um, what else here is uh, it says Samuel Martinez not only saves time, but a cleaner setup. Absolutely. You don't have anybody tripping over wires. You don't have anybody tripping over uh, cables or anything like that. Um, absolutely. And then Samuel Martinez says wireless and battery power. You can't beat it. Honestly, you really can't, you guys. Arthur, thank you for the compliment, brother. He says, this company is great with these, uh, with these customer service. How many companies give you their cell phone numbers? Most don't even give you a corporate number. Absolutely, guys. And you know what? It, I, look, guys, here's, I'm a big believer of customer service because you know what? I'm a consumer too. I consume goods. I buy services. But you know what? I want to be serviced. I also want to be serviced. So when, when, when I'm asked to run a company, when I'm asked to be the face of a company, I want to make sure that I service people and treat people the way I would want to be treated if I was consuming these products. So ultimately, guys, I'm a big believer in customer service because if you agree with me, guys, industry-wide, cellular phone companies, lighting companies, the Department of Water and Power, guys, Customer service is out the door. Call your auto insurance company and see how happy the guy is to get a phone call from you that's not about a sale, that you're not trying to buy new insurance for your different car. You just have a general question. See how happy they are to take care of you. Guys, it really sucks, but that's what we're after. Great customer service, great products. And again, the products speak for themselves. Remember, I tell people, don't fall in love with a name brand. The name brand's not going to do anything for you. But the warranty will, right? The quality of their product will, right? And how well these guys answer your questions will. Two-year warranty on any one of our fixtures. How about that? And guess what? We have a hassle-free warranty. You have an issue with it, we send you a replacement. We include a shipping label so you can send us back the bad one. And the place you bought it from doesn't even have to hear about it. How about that? How about that for customer service? I'm telling you, there's no other like JMAS lighting. So let's go on with the different light here, you guys. Uh, I'm going to turn these off. I'm going to go to the back and uh, I'm going to turn off the arrows because I want you to see uh, another one of the lights that we talked about was the, the Halo. The Halo Q4 wash and strobe. Hey, uh, Eric, let's put a video of the Halo series. Uh, let's go ahead and show these to these people so that way uh, you, you guys get an idea. Our reviewers want to have an idea of what the Halo series is. And guys, the Halo series comes in a strobe and it comes in a wash. You guys might see that they look very different, and that's because they are. I think the only similarity between these two lights is the, um, 
it's the size of the face. That's the only thing that's similar about these lights is the size of the face. And the Halo Q4 wash, right, has 90, 90 LEDs on the, on the face. These 90 LEDs are RGBW, okay? And the Halo wash is going to project a 25-degree beam, okay? And the Halo Q4 strobe has 921 SMD 5050 chips on the face. Look, at the very top of the video you're watching right now, those are the Halo strobes at the top. The Halo wash is at the bottom. And I want you to take a look and see what kind of cool shows these things have the ability to put out. This is a 15-inch light. It's 15 inches in diameter. I mean, I got a pretty big head, but if it was next to me, that thing would probably be about the same size, if not bigger than my head. Again, the halo strobe is about 200 watts. The halo wash is about 180 watts. Take a look at this video. I'm going to go and uh, turn on the ADCO 150s for you. Let me know if you have any questions. Give me a few seconds. I'll be right back. Eric, put on the halos for us, please. So guys, the video you guys are watching right now, that is something that we're putting together for you guys. Um, the video you guys are watching right now, that is uh, our very own DJ Mike. Uh, he had a really nice setup. Uh, again, and he's doing this outside of his house. Um, okay, here we go. So uh, let me see here. Okay, so what I have here, you guys, now is the ADCO Spot 150. Now, the ADCO Spot 150 uh, has recently came out, and the ADCO Spot 150, uh, again, this is a 150-watt uh, LED and what I want to show you guys here is, um, let me show you guys what I'm talking about. Built-in wireless, YMAS DMX. Look, I'm using the D24 analog controller just to kind of show you guys uh, what I'm able to do here with this. And so I've got channel one is controlling my uh, pan movements, right? built-in wireless DMX. I'm, I'm, I'm moving channel one up and down just so you guys can get an idea. I really want you guys to appreciate these lights. And what I'm going to do in a second here is I'm going to turn on the, the ADCO 100s just so you could see them in comparison to the ADCO 150s. And guys, you know, one thing I really like about this light is it has a rotating gobo wheel, right, that, that also has interchangeable, interchangeable gobos, but it also has... A static gobo wheel. I mean, you get two, two wheels on this thing. And I mean, 
really the Arco 150, you guys, it's on a whole nother level. Again, built-in wireless DMX. Uh, I'm using uh, our D24 wireless controller to show you these lights. And this is just a white beam with a three-facet prism that you're seeing right now. Uh, I'm gonna get into some of the. Uh, I'm gonna get into some of the gobos in a little bit, but I mean, so these are the 150s. What I'm gonna do right now is just so you guys can see a comparison. If I could find the remote here, okay, here it is. Okay, so these are the 150s, and these are the 100s, right? Just so you guys can get an idea. The 100s are bright, but take a look at the 150s side by side. Again, this is just so you guys can get an idea of, of what, what I'm showing you guys here. And so this is the ADCO 100 in the, in the, on the inside and the ADCO 150 on the outside. Um, that's just so you guys, again, can take a look at the difference between uh, these two lights. Um, I'm going to go through rotating gobos shake function right so again i mean what can i say you guys this is definitely a different light it's a whole different animal remember it's 150 watts uh, it's got an 11 degree beam angle uh, built-in wireless dmx it has 12 or 14 dmx channels that you can use uh, it's only about uh, 13 pounds. The Atco 100 is about seven and a half pounds. And uh, again, uh, rotating gobo wheel, six rotatable and interchangeable gobos. It also has a static gobo wheel. So two wheels in one and a color wheel. So guys, that's what we've got here. The Atco Spot 150. You know, we also showed you our Atco Beam 230. Um, that thing is a beast discharge lamp 230 watt and so built-in wireless dmx and just because it's our adco beam 230 not to be confused with you know uh some of the generic stuff that has been out in the market i'm telling you it's a small light but because it's 230 watts and it's a discharge lamp that thing puts up a huge power you guys so that has been uh some of the stuff we've been going over the last uh, nine weeks you guys last week you also saw the um the galaxy tubes i mean if you haven't seen it make sure you go through some of our previous videos uh those things are phenomenal i mean what can i say you guys uh you know jma's lighting is here to stay some of the things that we've been doing uh during this during this downtime you know we've been preparing a state-of-the-art showroom for your view and pleasure that's where we're going to be doing a lot of our um, a lot of our product reviews, a, a lot of our unboxing, a lot of our tutorials is going to be taking place out of our showroom. And again, we've been putting together this for your viewing pleasure, so you guys could see right the JMAS lighting products, how good they are, the, how to use it, the different functions. Um, you know, that's what we've been doing. And obviously, we've been putting together these live streams. Please uh, take a look at some of these live streams on our Facebook page. Uh, very soon this week, we're going to be posting all of them in chronological order on our YouTube page as well, on our YouTube channel so that you guys could go back. I mean, there's a wealth of information on these videos, you guys. And I really want you guys to take the time to look at it, right? Don't wait for that next gig to come up for you to decide that you're going to go and learn about new lighting and see what else is out there. Take advantage of this time to do that. You know, don't wait for the market to open up the curtains again or the government to give you the green light. Make sure you take advantage of that now. And, uh, you know, so that when the time comes, you are ready, you are prepared. There will come a point in time where everything you've prepared for, everything you've learned, there will come a point in time where all of that will matter. So make sure that you guys do that. And again, any questions, any comments, any concerns you may have, let us know. I mean, you know, we're always here to help. Uh, we want to be able to, uh, you know, take advantage of this time to, you know, introduce to you some of our lights, 
some of the features, some of the functions, you know, what other people are saying. I mean, you know, we got people like KPO DJ, we got people like, you know, NLFX Pro, AV Max, and a bunch of other ones like Sonido Live, you know, they carry our product, but that doesn't mean you can't call us and ask us questions, special pricing, special packages. Let us know, you guys. We'll be more than happy to assist you. Uh, stay safe out there, you guys. Thanks for tuning in. You got my number. Make sure you reach out and uh, have a blessed weekend. Stay safe and take all the preventive measures you can for your safety and the safety of others. Have a great day.